Okay, so I have the car jacked up. <clears throat> it's on a jack stand so that way I could give the springs a uh, full droop. And right now, measuring the shock body from the top to the bottom, this is the body alone, I'm getting about 15 inches. So I remember when I did take the shock off uh, when I was doing the um, uh, lowering block install that the shock actually went to 20 and 3 quarters fully extended. So I'm going to take this number, subtract it, and from there I get to kind of determine what shock I need. So in this case, I'm going to give myself a little, little space and I'm going to look for a shock that has at least uh, 16 inches of um, uh, f like fully extended uh, for the body. Uh, I can go a little more, and it wouldn't hurt, but um, uh, I think I could probably go 17 inches, but anything more than that is kind of like not really useful. So uh, in this case, what was cool was um, KYB, they had a really good tech support and actually a site and it has all the dimensions and they actually gave me uh, two um, choices. So seeing them, they're pretty good um, choices. They're good gas adjust shocks that are, you know, only like around the 30 to $40 range each. And they actually should work out for what I'm doing because I don't want a shock that's too stiff. Uh, I'm going to let the springs kind of handle that. And I'm going to, um, I really want just more travel uh, from the shock. So that way I'm kind of like lessening my chances of bottoming out um, because yeah, anytime you go lower on the car, um, you, your chances of bottoming out definitely increase. And at that point, the suspension is not really helpful or active. And it's kind of useless at that point. So uh, I'm going to, look at some choices and uh, hopefully make a purchase and uh, go from there. So uh, wish me luck.